With millions of Americans facing financial struggles due to the coronavirus pandemic, one of their main concerns is how to pay for growing prescription costs. This is not a new problem. Even before the global health emergency, pharmaceutical companies started 2020 by raising drug costs by 5.8% on average. That's above wage growth and inflation. And it's not projected to slow down anytime soon. In fact, out-of-pocket drug costs are expected to rise by 25% in the next five years. It's no surprise that nearly 8 in 10 Americans blame rising healthcare costs on drug industry profits. Drug pricing in the US is famously opaque, involving many different players. The drug manufacturers, the health insurance companies, the pharmacy benefit managers, and the pharmacies, just to name a few. In recent years, a series of tech startups have come into the industry hoping to disrupt it. Using a combination of algorithms and direct contracts with pharmacies, they're able to cut out the middleman and save consumers millions of dollars in prescription costs regardless of their health insurance. In fact, even if they have insurance, it might be cheaper not to use it. Two people, same prescription, one has insurance, one doesn't. How is it possible that the person without insurance can pay less? The reason this occurs is because most consumers get their pharmacy benefits through a large pharmacy benefit management company. Those companies price to their plan sponsors or employer groups in a manner that goes for creating the deepest discounts, but it's an average that they're trying to achieve. They aren't looking to deliver the absolute best price on each drug. And that's where technology gets in to find those inefficiencies. Could you explain how that works? It's a completely transparent model so that you can get onto the web, look up these cards, input your drugs, um, the dosage and day's supply, and it returns a price to you at multiple pharmacies. When someone is looking for a pharmacy savings card, what are the elements that they should pay attention to? Well, I think what you want is to make sure that you have complete transparency about what the drug's going to cost when you get to the counter in the pharmacy. You wanna make sure that the first price you see isn't so ridiculously low that you're being drawn in and that your prices for refilling your prescriptions won't be as competitive. Many experts say that these saving services are not a panacea because they're unlikely to cover highly specialized drugs. But with one in four Americans saying they cannot afford their prescriptions, it's becoming clear that every dollar counts and it's worth considering all the options to secure savings.